So a while ago, a lot of gamers were really, really upset with the BBC Samurai situation because they changed his hardware, right? They changed his preference. Like this video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders, ladies and gentlemen, because the video that I have for you in this one, you're gonna love it. Because gamers, we have been upset how many times, right? I lost count. Gamers were upset with the BBC Samurai situation. Then the gamers were like, okay, I'm gonna pick myself right back up, okay? Because you know don't games come out incomplete don't games come out with microtransaction <laughs> filled with bugs right don't games always deceive us right don't companies always kind of like uh, tell me that I'm a toxic gamer that I'm a menace to society that I'm problematic right yeah exactly right so gamers have learned to pick themselves up but uh oh check this Jeff Keighley wants you to lower your expectations for summer's game fest yeah we better be looking like this we better be looking like this yeah it should be fun guys I'm definitely gonna live stream so definitely like and subscribe my brothers we gonna be right then and there and uh, streaming everything out but check this this is the most important part and then I want to show you guys the climax and I want to show you the video get ready for the climax guys but update PlayStation owned studio Firewalk Studios has heard your complaints about Con Concord and ignored them. I mean, shock, shock, shocker, shocker. Sources tell me internal emails show that Concord team is shrugging off the criticism of their characters at white noise and dismissing it very much in their own bubble. Meanwhile, the trailer has gotten over 44,000 like dislikes! 44,000 dislikes! You guys crazy? You guys crazy? You guys disliking the videos like that? Come on, man, guys, come on, man. And their lead character designer bashes white folks and is rumored to be the only one who pushed for the character lineup to be super woke, though. Yay! And, and we know that in this game, even a robot got, like, they, them pronouns as well. 44,000 dislikes on the trailer. I mean, people have went absolutely crazy. Concord is a new progressive and modern shooter for PC and PlayStation. <laughs> it features five, uh-oh, four, okay, five, uh, five black women. Four aliens, three robots, and one white man. It's incredibly diverse, and still, as a brown man, where's my representation? Where is my representation? As a brown man, I demand my representation. Where is my representation at, bruh? Like, yeah, I I'm a brown man, I'm Pakistani, I'm South Asian, bro. Gang gang, homie, gang gang, bro. Like, where's my representation at, bruh? Like, yeah, let me know. Any blue people watching this video? Yeah, bro, like, we need your representation, too. I'm gonna fight for your rights. Check this, roll it. The gay station, the woke station, the pander station, whatever you want to call it, don't matter. It's all accurate and fair representation of the <laughs> brand now. Of girls in respectable positions of power. <laughs> no! What? Shut up, you what? Feminism! <laughs> Earlier this year, we spent some time talking about the insane ESG and DEI pandering yeah. that's going on at Microsoft and yeah. how they're paying white people less than diverse employees and how heavily Microsoft utilizes companies like Sweet Baby. If you want to watch that video, well, I'll leave a link down below. Absolutely insane. The most tolerant, the most welcoming, the most like, hey, hashtag me too, hashtag, okay, no, hashtag me too, that's okay. That, that, that's different, right? But hashtag equality, you know, we are standing every, everybody is equal, D, right? Absolutely crazy. I mean, listen, I'm not white, okay? <laughs> I'm a brown man, but but I yeah, but I, I would like to believe that everybody should be paid equally for the work they're doing, right? If you're doing some like crazy, if you're doing something good, of course you deserve promo promotion, you deserve to get paid more, right? Like the video if you deserve to get paid more, man. Everybody deserves to get paid more. I mean damn bro. But the fact that white people are now not getting paid equally, damn. Who would have thought? because Dang. it is a subject I am surprisingly quite passionate about. You know okay. someone who is on the spectrum. Video games are getting insanely woke to the point that, you know, Call of Duty thinks it's a great idea yeah, to have the trans bullets. Right? bullets. Yeah. Modern problems require modern solutions. Crazy! Genius crazy. marketing! Well, yeah. it is that time, the gayest month of the year, and with it comes some of the most unapologetic marketing and advertisement towards the Rainbow Mafia. Is LGBT, is that for lesbian? Oh! Gay? Oh! Uh, bye? Mm. And a trans. And no! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! 
We celebrate Who the f is we? And while it's struck- And I guarantee you, right? Like, does the bullets that they uh, that Activision added, they probably have, like, more damage. They probably have more bullet velocity. Yeah, probably, right? Like, uh, smaller hitboxes or bigger hitboxes, so it's easier for you to shoot, right? Because you'll be like, oh, wow, 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 I'm missing my shot. I'm missing my shots. But guess what? The guy's dead in front of you, right? In Call of Duty, in Call of Duty. PlayStation extra hard. Much like Microsoft and a multitude of other gaming corporations, Sony has an interest in that ESG money. I mean, this should have been obvious with The Last of Us 2. PlayStation was always going to go down this road. It just really sucks to see it happen because it's like watching every single company succumb to it one by one. And if you yeah. don't believe it's affecting your video games, you are blind and you Ooh. probably shouldn't be on this channel. Go watch something safe. Black and pussy. <laughs> Here at Fertangle Plays, we're not going to hold back. Pathetic, weak mind. Beta. So a few days ago, we got a chance to talk in great length about the state of mid-2024 from PlayStation. And the highlight of that showcase, unfortunately, was a live service yeah. title from Firewalk Studio. Now, here's the thing, right? I, I went into watching that showcase, uh, a state of play, rather, with, like, literally no expectations, and I gave it, like... I believe five out of ten. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. But then I looked at, I looked over on the internet, saw the Twitter streets. Everybody was like looking like this, bro. Everybody was hitting it three out of ten. You know, two out of ten. <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. And now Jeff Keighley says that, hey, bro, lower your expectations. And, and I'm not listening here. Like, I'm not pointing my fingers at Jeff Keighley because after all, he's the host. He's like literally telling you what's about to hit. And it's gonna be absolutely nothing. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be nothing. How many years, bro? So I appreciate the fact that he told us to not have any expectations, but how many years we gotta be like, hey, no expectations, bro. Lower your expectations, lower your expectations. We have been lowering our expectations. We are at a point where, bro, like th this is the ground floor of uh, like expectations and we effing down there, bro. We down there in the Mariana trenches, dog. Is that is that how you say? I don't know. Mariana Trench, right? Yeah, yeah. If we are down in the Mariana Trenches, bro, Bruh. what the hell are we talking about? Where are the games? Where are the games? As a as a brown man, I demand online to be made fully free, just like the PC. Yeah, yeah as a brown man, I demand games to be absolutely free. Uh, if a game is seventy dollars, it better be good, and it better not have those microtransactions. Like the video, if you agree, just like if you disagree. But wait for the climax, guys. Studios and their title being Concord. Concord. Hey! I've already said what I need to say about this game, and well, let's not get it twisted. Unfortunately for us, what it will take for PlayStation fanboys to see what is wrong with this product would be if it was an Xbox title or a multi-plat. That's just the reality. I don't understand what's supposed to look bad about Concord. He lost the plot. He lost the plot. But but honestly, like I saw I saw the, the gameplay, it was alright. Like, you know, four out of ten, maybe Bruh. maybe like five out of ten. Like the CGI was actually pretty good. A lot of you were saying it was cringe and okay, I get it. Fair, fair, fair. Generally speaking, most people are actually disappointed in that because it's a live service game. Live service on paper sounds good because it talks about, hey, you're going to be getting content. You're going to be getting content 24-7. It sounds good on paper, right? But the fact of the matter here is that when they say live service, it means microtransactions, paid, paid content, paid this, paid that. $20 bundles. Do you, you remember the, 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 the $100 skin that we got in Call of Duty? Yeah, exactly. That's what live service means. No one does, damn it. That's why most people are generally upset with it because they know like live service, if they call it live service and if a game is live service, that means that the game is barely going to get any content and any content that it gets, it's going to be locked behind a paywall. And a lot of people were wondering it's going to be like free to play, but uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait for it. I mean, take a look at PC Gamer and what they have to say. It's hard to complain about hero shooter fatigue when Concord looks best god. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. <laughs> wow. Bruh. All that for a drop of clout? Wow, a lot of these publications. Yo, no, no, what? This is real? No! Yo! Yo! Yo, hey, yo! 
Yo, I thought like he was just playing like a video for B-roll and he is playing a video for B-roll But I thought that it was a B-roll where it was not linked with gaming. Okay, this is a PlayStation HQ. Oh, no <laughs> Uh, and I know the Xbox fanboys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Xbox fanboys would be like, yeah, yeah. guys, no, 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 listen, 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 listen. It's equally bad out here, okay? Let me drag everybody in here. <laughs> yeah, in gaming, this is modern day gaming. I'm saying that PlayStation fanboys, Xbox fanboys, general gaming fan and fanboys, everybody, okay? We need everybody on this situation. We need to save gaming, guys. We need, we really gotta save gaming. What the hell is going on, bruh? Yeah, PlayStation, Sony Ponies, Xbox, Xbox Andes, I need all of you. A and for the most part, you know, whenever we have situations like that, I, I have seen, like, success rate of 99.99% of uh, Sony Ponies and Xbox Andes coming together as one and squashing their beef for for the day, okay? So I, I, I suppose this time I'm gonna see everybody being together as well, which is something that I definitely want to see a lot more often. We need to save gaming right now, boys. Nations are getting very desperate. For all the players, bruh. It's relying bruh, on rage bruh, baiting bruh, to continue bruh. getting any sort of clicks. Yeah. Not a single person I could think of, not even the woke crowd, would take one look at Concord and say, yeah, that's my shit. We'll take 20. If the woke crowd doesn't even care about Overwatch and its change what makes Firewalk Studios think people are going to care about their game? Concord looks like everything wrong with the current state of the gaming industry for being a gas title. And if you don't know what I mean by gas, that's games as a service. The very yeah. thing people claim they left Xbox for. So you jump to escape a pirate ship onto another. Congratulations. Bruh. The defense force for this game is already happening and it's honestly a stop. But it do be kind of, kind of looking all, all right. I mean, the <laughs> man, if it was a free to play game, then I would be like, okay, you know, Hey guys, it it what it is. What? Oh shit. Okay, you guys don't like it, right? Okay, I, I get it. I get it. Let me let me tone it down. But but still, like, if it was a free to play game, okay, understandable. What the hell? They got like special rainbow bundle. You get Concord full game for PS5, 16 character skins, up to 72 hours early access, and Monarch pack. Mon Monarch pack, almost a hundred dollars right there. Oh shit. And see, the situation is something that we talked about e ever since Starfield done the 72 hours early access. I was letting you guys know straight up, dog. Like, I can see a lot of, like, other games utilizing this model, right? It's a way for them to release games for $100, bro. This is just one of the safest way to release games at $100 and people would be like, yeah, bro, oh, uh, uh, you don't like the $100 price? Just wait, bro. Just wait, you loser, you peasant. Buy the game on the actual release date because if you want it early, yeah, like for $100, that's when you can get the early access. Nah, stupid! It's not that. They are purposely, th th for 60 bucks, you're getting the delayed version. Okay, Th they're purposely delaying the game launch. That's what it is. Okay, the, yeah, uh, three days early access. That's like day one. That's where the game should release officially. And that's when the game should just release as is. But they are charging a little bit extra and they're delaying the, the standard edition uh, just so they can charge you uh, $100. Bro, this is crazy. This is lunacy. Uh, games are already becoming $100. I, uh, we were all anticipating that it's gonna happen, but probably like, you know, 5, 10 years from now. Oh man, it's already here. 5, 10 years from now, bruh. I wouldn't be shocked if games are like $200, bro. Astonishing to me. Anybody looking forward to this Marvel tier writing shouldn't be allowed to review or critique games. I'm sorry, I know that's a little extremist, but it's just the reality. Nothing about the game helps it stand out above other games of its type. Why gaming media is always so positive in trying to push PlayStation games forward shouldn't be put into question. We know why. The check cleared. After all, Sony does invest heavily into marketing. This, you know, maybe could fall under their marketing. Having shameless media sites cap for their piece of shit game. I mean, you know PC Gamer must have been paid by PlayStation to promote this game because Listen to this. Concord isn't free to play. That that we know of. And that's very exciting. Okay, who the hell? <laughs> what? Concord isn't? Okay, let me actually do this here. I don't... Yo, this break in my EXE right now. Yeah, we're gonna take a second right there, okay? Concord isn't free to play that we know of. And that's very exciting. Wow! 
Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next For product. the next one, yeah. What? It's not free to play? How Man. is this piece of shit not free to play? You but I'm hearing it's like 40 USD could be wrong. I think this is Australian dollars, 60. So if you're in Canada like me, it's probably gonna be 60 as well. Bruh, like game should have been free. Game should have been free. Yeah, it should have been free. It's a live service. They're gonna have crazy amount of microtransactions. Now, yeah, whatever, bruh. Yeah, whatever. Practically have to pay people to play it. They're not actually thinking about- we, we should get paid to play the game. We should get paid to play this disaster. A disaster. I'm sorry. The, these seconds call gamers toxic and problematic. Okay, let's be let's be toxic like that. You should you should you guys should play pay us to play your game. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, uh, you're, because your game sucks, bro. Your game sucks, and more so than that, you're like literally pandering and, and you're being racist towards a group of people. That being white people, you're being you're you're being super racist to white people right now. Yeah, you are. You are. You are. And, 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 and I'm a brown man. Where's my representation? Where? Yeah, exactly. Where's my representation at? You're being super racist to me too, bro. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, exactly. What the hell? Where's my representation at, bro? Oh, selling this for a price, are they? In what world is another Overwatch clone that's not free to play a good sign? You, you really think people are drooling, dying to pay so they can play as a gay robot with pronouns? Who in the world is more optimistic now because they have to pay for Concord? Who? If Sony really wanted a... <coughs> If Sony really wanted a multiplayer game that people would pay for, why didn't they just make another kill zone or SOCOM or Resistance? Things that are guaranteed to sell. Concord is a financial gamble. Nothing Sony is doing is making any sense. They know the reception these DEI and ESG games get. They know the reception yeah. Overwatch clones get. They know the re But but apparently they say they don't care. Sources tell me internal emails show that Concord team is shrugging off the criticism. Yeah, they're ignoring, they're ignoring. Yeah, imagine ignoring your fan base. Imagine ignoring your customers. But the customer is always right. Nah, they don't believe into that anymore. The customer is always wrong. The customer is always wrong, man. That's what they're reception saying. games as a service gets and yet they green lit the whole thing but i mean why wouldn't Bumble they you got media outlets like pc gamer there to cover up for you Bumble. you're practically paying for the reception you want now for the contrarians in the audience who are going to ask the obvious questions like oh how is it woke i'm not going to answer your question because when i do you're going to follow it up with a well what's wrong with that but for those of you who simply want to absorb the information and process it on your own this next bit of information is quite crucial and determined Determining whether you may purchase this game or not. Concord okay. lead character designer believes whites must acknowledge their privileged Privilege. position <laughs> and then actively work for equality. Also claims the judicial system is. <laughs> I no. don't think I've ever prayed so hard. What the hell? Yo! Hey, yo! Hey, where is that? What did I just see? No! Say you swear to God! Did they really? Did they really do that? Holy mother of God, bro. That's insane, though. You need to check your privilege. You're just jealous. Holy crap. Yeah, they're being super racist. Yeah, that's racism, bro, in a nutshell. Yeah, and Microsoft is like, bro, if you're white, you're gonna get paid less. <laughs> What is going on, bro? What is going on? Yeah, I feel bad for my white homies, man. Yo, wait, come here, boo boo. Come here, man. It's gonna be all right, guys. It's gonna be all right, man. Everybody, man. Uh, my black homies, my brown homies, my white homies, my purple homies. Yeah, everybody, man. Bring it in, man. Bring it in, bruh. And smash the like button as well, bruh. guys. All right. Yeah. If you don't smash the like button, then I don't want in here. Nah, I'm just joking, bro. Let me show you some cases, man. Yeah, man, gaming companies are just tro uh, truly insane. And here's the thing, though. Gamers gonna still suck their BBCs, BWCs, LBCs, LWCs. Gamers still gonna suck their D, bro. That, that, I, I, I know the gamers way too well. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Gamers still gonna suck their D. Uh, D. A and they know that. This is why they don't care about it. This is why they're like, hey, yeah, we're gonna ignore them. We're gonna ignore them. Because in the past... It didn't necessarily did anything major. I'm talking about gaming. I'm not talking about Bud Light, okay? Bud Light audience, mature, okay? Number one, mature, older older folks. And, and yeah, if they're like, hey, we're not gonna buy your product, we're not gonna buy your product. 
I I'm not sure about what's the deal with it right now. Are people buying Bud Light? <laughs> I don't know about that one, okay? But yeah, at, at one point, they did some woke crap and everybody was like, okay, we're not gonna buy it, we're not gonna buy it, we're not gonna buy it. And ultimately, they lost a lot of money. A lot of money. In video game sense, yes, some of you watching, surely not gonna buy this game and, and you're against it, absolutely. But I'm talking in general sense, okay? Yeah, in general sense. But this game just doesn't look good, so I, I do believe that it might, it's probably not gonna do too well. Or you never know. Honestly, you never know. You never know. Uh, again, with gamers, it's like a hit or miss. Hard for a video game's failure. I sincerely hope this bombs as hard as Suicide Squad. Hell, even harder Fingers than crossed, Suicide yeah. Squad. I hope there is absolutely zero chance for this game. I mean, the developers... And, and the game uh, the, the game that he's mentioning here uh, also sucked. So that's another factor of it not doing good. Had it been the game was good and still had this woke crap and they were like, hey, white people need to be... Uh, paid less you need to check your privilege right uh no represent no representation for brown people the game would have still sold well because gamers don't care yeah gamers don't care already did that themselves with what they've decided to release another woke and, and even if they said that hey you're a toxic gamer that that gamer that is being called toxic gamer by these companies gonna literally buy the day one early version for a hundred dollars he might as well even buy that two hundred dollars collector edition special and let just suck their d after as well yeah that gamers okay. modern overwatch gamers. clone how brave how daring but you always notice that these games have something in common the people who work behind them are absolutely insane like we've pointed out with oh my god bro take iq test inter uh, interpersonal uh, myself smart people smart visuals P wait what the hell is going on <laughs> oh, what the hell is going on M maybe it has the rainbow color so i'm actually connecting this with something else you every time i see rainbows right now bro Holy crap, they have really ruined the entire rainbow situation, man. We used to have rainbows in the skies, right? God rainbow, yeah, God rainbow is beautiful. They ruined that. They ruined that. Many of the sweet baby projects. This mindset, this mentality that has infected gaming has spread faster than the effects of the vaccine. Now, of course, this con- Concord might have the ugliest characters. Not might, it does. <laughs> Conker does have the ugliest character designs I have ever seen. Comes from that park place, which isn't enough for me, all right? No offense right. to that site, but when it comes to knowing these things, I'd rather look into it myself than okay. completely going off what a journalist says. And, okay. well, I looked it up, and uh -oh. it's all true. This uh -oh. John Wayneuski, however you say that last name, is indeed a lead character designer at Firewalk Studio. And uh, these are a couple of his tweets. I got to go jogging this morning without worrying about being murdered by the police because I'm white. All the support to the protesters and people who do have to worry about this every day of their lives. It's over. Watch where you walk, it, bitch. Watch it, you <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys, uh, check out this video on the screen because recently these suckers have banned uh, Dr. Disrespect from Call of Duty events because of what he said. Activision has went ultra woke. I think you're not you're not gonna like this video first, first of all. But check it out on the left. If you uh, if you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, guys. 